السلام عليكم ورحمة الله. This is Hani Ismail from Planning Engineer website. I received a question from one of our course trainees. He's asking Hani, what is the best way to update our schedule? So if I have a schedule and I need to send to my site engineers a sheet, Excel sheet, so they can put the update into it. And I need a very simple steps to import this update directly to the Primavera. So here we have a sample project and we have here, this is our columns. We have original duration, plan to start, plan to finish, plan percentage. And this is also useful to show the plan percentage while you are sending this sheet to your site engineers. So they will know what was the plan percentage and what should be the actual percentage. The uh, idea here is that we need to run the schedule. So this is the last update in December. I need to run it first to the date I'm uh, doing the update. So the plan percentage here will be updated as per the uh, data date. And then I can do uh, the following steps to make my update very easy. So let's go and do it. The first thing I need to have here this is a sheet I'm going to use in my update. This uh, nice sheet will, do, will give me the colors and so on as per the uh, Primavera. So I'm going to make Control A, Control C. Then I'm copying this sheet here. I'll share this sheet with you. Then simply I'll make Control C on the keyboard. Some macro will run in the background and it will give me a nice sheet where I can save as a separate file and share it with my site engineers. They can use it without any issues. Now, once this has happened, I can copy this one, make file, save as. Uh, sorry, not file, save as. I, it is better to create a new sheet now, new blank sheet and paste the value here. I'm going to copy it again. Don't make control C because it will run the macro again. Just right click and copy. And I paste it here. This is the one I'm going to share with my site engineers. So here I'm going to save it in my desktop update. This is update to site. Okay. And don't forget to make control H here to remove the spaces in the activity ID. So I make double space and I will replace it with nothing. Now this sheet is ready to uh, give it to my site team. I can give also some filters here so they can see the plant start date, plant finish date and the plant percentage. Now they need to fill out these three columns. The actual start date, the actual finish date if it is not finished and the actual percentage. Okay, now let's say that they have done some updates on this sheet, for example here they increased this uh, 3% to 5%, they increased this 8% to uh, 15%, and then they started this activity earlier. No, this is snagging. Let's have something reasonable. Make this 90%. Okay, let's make filter on the plant. So we put some activity to start. This one, uh, uh, actual start here, we all have the actual start dates. We can also increase this one to 95%. Okay. So we are doing here, this will be done by the site engine. Let's say they started this activity ahead of time. And they started on, uh, let's say, 10 December. Okay. 10 December. And let's make the same format here. Okay, and they did 10% of it. And that is, this is the update, and they send you back this file. Now, what you are going to do? Simply, you are going to your Promovera, go to File, Export, okay? Then you will export a spreadsheet, click Next. Now, you are going to, to uh, export the activities, select the activity, and here we have the update. What we have, what we should have here, the actual start, actual finish, activity, percentage, complete. This is what we need to have, activity ID, activity start, activity uh, finish, activity, percentage, complete. I'm going to export this one, 
and I'm going to save it where I can find it so I'm going to save it in the desktop I made one file here I'm going to open next and finish now we exported this from Primavera this is a file we just exported this is what we have so far as actual start and now we need to fill this three columns actual start actual finish and activity percentage complete how we can do this one so here we can make VLOOKUP we will look for the activity ID then we will search in this activity in this sheet one two three four five six seven now we have the actual start seven column number seven we need the exact match we will close it okay and now we have here the actual start date from every for all our activity now i can double click or i can click and drag to the very end of course we have here updated few activities but if you have a huge schedule this will be very time saving technique uh, let me check this 6, this 6 12 yes very good okay now okay now we have this one we'll do the same with the actual finish and we can now change the column to column 8 column 8 here let's be sure that it is the actual finish we can take the same format of this cell to make it like this and then we will have it here to the very end okay now when it comes to the activity percentage complete we will make control c and control v is a formula will change this eight to nine because this is column number nine and if you notice here that the primavera needs the percentage complete multiplied by hundred while we have it here uh, as a percentage so we just need to do a very simple step is to make this one multiply by 100 and double click then copy paste one two three then we don't need this one we can now do some check make data filter so whatever percentage complete is zero here we don't need it right so we are going to delete all of these activities now we have here the activity with update and uh, it is showing the actual start and here the actual finish we just need to select the one without actual finish and simply delete it because there is no date it is zero okay and now we have our file ready to be imported to Primavera now I will copy this one make it one two three and one remaining step is to select this one going to data tickets to column click uh, next I'm going to select the comma next I make it as a text and I'll make it finish and I will save this one this is the update of my schedule and I'm going to close it I close this one no need anymore close this one don't save I don't need it now I'm going to my file import a spreadsheet and I'm going to my desktop where I saved my file and this is my uh, file I just updated activities next is updating the existing project definitely and I'll make it finish and the import was successful let us check now that this activity now we have the actual start date the percentage and this one was changed it this one was changed it this one was changed it and this is how simply you can import your updates with very simple steps 
whatever now we did it in a few activities only but imagine if you have 1000 2000 activities and you need to update the schedule using import and export this will be the most uh, time efficient uh, method i hope you like it you will find a link below this video to download this excel sheet i have used uh, to create the colors and so on you are welcome to use it thank you very much i hope you find this video useful to you see you in the next one